We might end up back over here to sleep, but we'll see. Now there's no bound by the name of the supermarket. Am I at the supermarket? Some people find it really complicated. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. If I'm at a spot, you don't say in chat the name of the spot I'm at. If I'm not at that spot, feel free to talk about spots. Super simple. I'm gonna put my headlight on. Ah. Ooh, can hear the wind whistling. Is this stream snipers? Callers. There's lots of Twitch problems with people just advertising where you are. Location Spain. <laughs> did, did Ahmad actually physically? Oh my god, okay. Getting assaulted by Crosswind right now. I have to take that into account for my camp spot tonight as well. I feel like the wind has come from every single direction right now. What direction is the wind actually supposed to be coming from? I just have to account for that in my camping location. Works with a good sub, thank you very much. Ripping through here.
should be used to those mountains and wind, just like in BC. It wasn't windy at all when I was going through the mountains. And I honestly don't mind climbing. Wind is just the worst part of cycling. Um, interesting, no wind in BC. No, it just wasn't gusting gale force winds when I was going over the mountains of VC. Here's a cyclist with no lights or anything. No front, no rear. I think we're at the top, but with the wind, I'm not going to get much momentum going. I don't really trust the wind. I'm only going particularly fast when the wind's unpredictable. So I can come around here and get slapped with a crosswind that just pushes me way the F over. Oh well, we're going. Yeah, it's mostly headwind, which... Yeah, just headwind. Which honestly, if we're gonna have an annoying wind, headwind's the safest one to have. Because all it does is slow you down. The crosswind just pushes you around, which is harder to deal with. Like partly electric? No. I want it to be completely under my own power. Because then at the end of the day, you know you got yourself made to be. Say we're at the edge of town. Okay. 
just have to find something. Is that a bike point? Oh, that's a bike point. Alright, let's go over. Uh, bar and restaurants closed. bar and restaurant that looks open, but they probably don't have, uh, they're probably not serving anything food-wise right now, but we can check. They got fire things going. They're cranking out the heat. That's oh, a coffee house. be open. We can find out. It says that Rise and Shine breakfast and snacks are available till 6 p.m. They do breakfast until 6 p.m. That's a good sign. Maybe I shouldn't block their menu though. Senses open. I know it's just places can be open and not actually serve anything food wise because Spain's got it. Spain, and then go over here. People, I know, I just didn't see food, so I just need to double check that they can serve food. And then we'll be good. Got the all day breakfast? No, it's 622. They said it serves them until uh, 1800, so 6 o'clock. I guess I can take my butt light off. Every time for Spanish breakfast, so well, I'm not gonna get anything authentically Spanish to eat at a restaurant at 6 p.m. Because Spanish people don't eat at 6 p.m. So if you're gonna find anywhere serving food, it's not gonna be authentic, is it? So pretty much my mealtime stuff in Spain is usually just not Spanish. Because, well, I can't find food. Anyway, I'll be right back. Oh, they do do steak. We should do steak. Hola.
Hola. Uh, Table inglés. Sí, yes. Um, are you serving food now? Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah nice. Um, okay. I'll take a seat. Um, Any way you like. Sure. And I'm cycling through Spain, and I make like a like a live broadcast as I go. Is it okay if I put my little stream thing in the corner, not point at anyone, just myself eating? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, cool. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Thank you. Oh yes. Casa su casa. Thank you. All right, we're in. They seem super nice and they're serving food. We hit the jackpot. I couldn't even find this in the last city. We get to the smallest little place and we, we've hit the jackpot. <laughs> we're gonna get like steak, we're gonna get beer, we make some friends. Uh, okay, so I gotta switch things over. I'll cut this feed and then I'll be back on the other side. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Two olives, two of them. Anyway, it still looks delicious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Oh, they sliced it for me, that's nice. Now let's see it. Good job with the stairs, Hitch. Amazing view pizza and beer. Way to go, bro. It's a convertible Mercedes. That's <laughs> okay, 250 CDI. Bonjour. You go Villefranc? Hey. Uh, yeah. um, no place, uh, On my lap? First time I'm doing one of these. Apparently it's legal in the state. Apparently it's legal in the state. I asked. They said it was. So good. <laughs> Have a good time. The best thing about being a woman. Short skirts. I'm gonna dress up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Since I'm the one at dinner right now, can I talk about whatever I want? This is the most piercing noise ever. I like ev literally every single other type of bird in the world, except for galls. 
Thank you very much. No worries. Oh, They're playing Christmas music. I'm feeling the vibe. I'm Christmas red. They serve food in Spain at 6.30 p.m., which is actually really hard to find. Oh, lovely. I could unzip a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, we do have a stuffed animal. Okay. Main courses. We're going main because I'm hungry. For the main courses, we have Argentinian ribeye steak. This is about to die, let's plug it in. Yeah, I, right before I came back, she's like, oh. Oh. Specials are lamb steaks. Um, she's, she's like, well, can I get you a drink? I'm like, can I grab a beer? And she's like, should I grab you a pint? And I'm like, of course, yes, you should. <sighs> um, what else for me? There's uh, grilled chicken breasts, Moroccan style shredded lamb, uh, delicious crunchy chicken cutlets, Greek moussaka, and curry in a hurry, and wild mushroom risotto. Um, so there's two different steaks there's Argentinian ribeye steak. Um, all the way from Argentina to your plate, cooked to your liking, server, uh, uh, sorry, served with grilled local vegetables and potatoes. And then the specials uh, it's just says lamb steak. So there's no description because it's one of the special board ones. Are in the mood for it? I think I want to get the steak. <laughs> Burgers. I might come back tomorrow. They do English breakfast as well. <laughs> Steak and lamb, your choice? I know, it's, it's a tough decision. What if I eat one and I'm still hungry? I could get the other one. what you'd expect from Argentinian steak. Although instead of frozen thawed steak, go for something local. I'm guessing the lamb was probably frozen at some point too. <laughs> get a vote. I'll get one and if I'm super hungry we can always get more stuff. I'm gonna get the ribeye. Okay. I haven't had steak in a long time. Yes, I know, it's a lie. <laughs> it is not a Guinness, but we'll be okay. Sorry, I'll spin the Guinness away so you guys aren't traumatized. Ready to go whenever. Okay. All right. Um, 
I think I'm going to do your ribeye steak, if okay. possible. How do you like it, Joe? Uh, medium rare, please. Medium rare. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Any pepper sauce? Uh, peppered sauce? Peppered sauce or rocco? I don't think so. I think, okay. I think we're good. What's peppered sauce? Can still see the S? No, it stands for lies. Whatever. Get over yourself. <laughs> anyway, truth to know that it's cycling. I don't know what we did today. I think it's like probably 85 kilometers or something like that. Which is pretty decent because we started pretty late and I almost knocked my beer over. Cheers. Um. The steak is served with grilled local vegetables and potatoes. I wonder how... Potatoes. You can do potatoes in many different ways, so I'm curious how they do their potatoes. But maybe with the steak I'd switch to red wine. Peppered sauce, normally cream based, really good. Mm. I like cream based sauce. But a good steak, the key word there is good steak, just needs a little salt and pepper on it. That's, that's plenty. That ended up being a really good day of cycling. Um, like, when did I actually start cycling? I think I just started the stream at like 10.30, 10.40 a.m., but then we were eating breakfast. I feel like I didn't leave the city until like 11.30 or something like that. 12 p.m.? Yeah. Make some beer and wine. I couldn't put that in my stomach. I drink a liter of chocolate milk in the middle of a cycling adventure. <laughs> like right in the middle of the day. I'm like, perfect. A liter of chocolate milk, it's go time. Yeah, if today was like a um, starting at sunrise kind of day, we would have had an extra like few hours of riding at least. It would have been a hundred plus kilometer a day. Although the conditions turned on us. Once we got back to the coast in this last section, full headwind. Not pleasant. That's different. That's milk. Well, milk is like, you know, upsetting to a lot of people's stomachs. So, someone was saying like something crazy like 70% of people are... Oh no. Seventy percent of people are lactose intolerant in some way, shape, or form. I need I'm just getting chat up on this phone. It might go sideways for a second, but I should hopefully possibly be able able to fix it. Hopefully it's fine. Then I can put this away. <sighs> Alright, now I can reach out off of this. It's just easier. I always say this, we don't talk about the places I'm at while I'm here, um, <laughs> but they're super nice here. I haven't even eaten and I like this place. That's a possum? What do we think? Uh, hey, hey, thanks for the massive raid and relic stream yesterday. So excited about it? I'm glad he's excited about it. Rel's Rel an awesome guy. Um, so I'm happy to see him out there traveling, streaming. Badger, 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 a badger. Badger, badger, badger. I have this feeling that it might be a badger.
Okay. 100% of Badger? Like, not even 99.9% .9 chance? Doctor 104 is certain it's a badger. 100% certainty. It's a mushroom? Who knows? Does anyone watch Fantastic Fungi on Netflix? I was watching it. I just... I don't know. I might have taken an edible or something like that. And then Sarah told me to stop because it bothered her. Battery's good. This battery's good. Let me check the microphone batteries. Honestly, they're not bad. Honestly, doing pretty good. Wow, that's surprising. Watch that once I got on the plane and the guy took next to me took his shoes off. What fantastic fun guy? I'm staring at the bitrate going all over the place. Good thing. At Mad Mike's <laughs> with the front sub, thank you very much. Welcome to the Twitch Bikers. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna be loaded up with food, which is hard to do at the end end of a cycling day in Spain. I'm gonna have a beer in me, a bunch of food in me, lots of protein, carbs with the potatoes and vegetables just because I think they're healthy or something. You just need to eat so much vegetables for it to actually be like calories. West Coast Grow. Hey Hitch, warm hello and how are you doing from Nanaimo, BC? Uh, West Coast Grow. I'm from Comox, an hour north of you. Fellow Vancouver Islander. I currently live in Victoria, though. Uh, yeah, warm hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm finished cycling for the day. Got some decent distance down. Had some great cycling terrain. The, the roads today were super nice for cycling. Like, no big complaints until um, the wind turned on us for the last... Really, just like last 15k, 20k, maybe. Just get there. bags under your eyes today? I probably have bags under my eyes most days, really. You just don't stare so deeply into my eyes. What's making you stare so deeply into my eyes today? Most impossible to eat enough vegetables for calories unless they're fried in an oil sauce. Or sauce, yeah. Um, just like, just greens, like, like just a big salad of just like greens and stuff like that is like six calories. Was the weather like there, Trevor? Uh, today it was sunny, I think high 17-ish. Um, and breezy, but a favorable wind for most of the day until the evening and then it switched directions or I switched directions, I don't know which one. And uh, started blowing me around like crazy. So now it's not that hard to load up all the way on vegetables, but again, I'm a, <laughs> but like, it, you can load up with calories on uh, with vegetables if you have a super heavy cream-based sauce in, in your salad. Like if you go to McDonald's and you get a salad there, sometimes they're like 
600 to 1,000 calories, I think, some of them, because of the sauces they put on them, and nuts and stuff like that as well. Get some beans going. Oh, yeah, like, I'm not saying you can't, like, load up with calories on, like, a vegetarian kind of diet. Just, like, generally vegetables on their own don't provide a lot of energy, like, calories. Calories is a measurement of energy. Ever come back to the States to cycle? I've never cycled in the United States. I've cycled across Canada. I'd like to do some cycling in the United States, though. You can cramp 800 calories of pure vegetables into you, I guess. But what would 800 calories of pure vegetables look? Let's have a very American lunch. Boneless chicken with ranch and curly fries. That sounds wonderful. Honestly, everything sounds really good to me. I just need lots of food, any kind of food, including green, like including salad. I will eat salads. It's the most cliche kind of like statement, but I feel like it really works when you're cycling. The seafood diet, that is my diet, seafood. Because I see food and I eat it. It doesn't matter what it is. It just needs to be in me. Uh, Cycle Route 66. I've heard Cycling Route 66 actually sucks. Um, route 66 is not one route. Route 66 has not been one concise road from Chicago to LA or whatever since the 1960s, I think. Um, it's, it's a combination of different state highways, different interstates, it's, it's, and I've heard a lot of those state highways are just like, state highways, no shoulder, and real fast traffic. I'd hitchhike 66 before I cycle 66. The biggest animals, all are vegetarian. I don't, don't whales eat like krill and stuff? Isn't that an animal? Some good stretches out west, but people would drive like crazy. I did see some cool stretches in western section, and it's like Route 66 is kept as like a, a tourist attraction in there, like, like in Arizona and New Mexico and stuff, in sections. Um, because people want to ride their motorbikes and cars down in 66 because there's a song and stuff. Um, so there's some cool sections that look nice, but they follow right next to the interstate, at least the sections I saw because I was hitchhiking down the interstate. US 50 would be a good one. San Francisco to Maryland. Yeah. Because like, I was looking at there's several different routes across the United States because I was considering that for another uh, cycling trip is, is right across America. Because I honestly like traveling. Is that a Canadian flag? Underneath the belt. <gasps> they have a Canadian flag in here. Oh, I have to ask about that. Um... Oh yeah, different different routes cycling across uh, America. There's, I, I was thinking about the southern route. Because potentially my next trip was going to be a bit of California, and then if I was still feeling good, I was going to start riding east. And I thought, even if we're in like November, like right now, riding east through the southern U.S. wouldn't be too bad. And you're past like tornado season and hurricane season and stuff. Look like you're in a living room hitch. This restaurant, pub, bar, cafe is very cozy. It's nice. If you can make like a commercial business look like a living room, that's good. I 
It's not Spanish at all. <laughs> it's not at all. But it's it's good. It's like a garage door behind you. Kind of does, doesn't it? It is a door. Like it's a double door that would they'd both swing out. Uh, winter South Interior would be awesome. That's what I was looking at potentially. Uh, but I'm very happy with the choice to to do this Europe trip, at least so far. It's been great. Cozy living in the fireplace. They have like a a little heater thing right next to me. I'm drinking beer from the same glass, the same Guinness glass. But do you actually have a Guinness in the Guinness glass? Because people were very upset that I was drinking a non-Guinness out of a Guinness glass. Apparently that's sacrilege. Spite cables, it's been great. The reality of streaming is Lots of things are going to break, lots of things aren't going to work. There's lots of times when network is just not going to do what you want it to do because you've run off of the cell network and it's unreliable in a lot of places. Streaming is imperfect. Maybe one day, between the internet and the hardware and the software and everything will just work as one and it will be great. But that's not today. And that won't be a thing for a long time. When was the last time you showered? This morning. I am super fresh right now. I have a sleeping arrangement set? No, but I did cycle along the coast and I feel like I could just ride back out to the beach and, and find a place. My one concern is, let's look at the Windy app actually. Windy website. I don't have an app. Um, because I want to know what direction the wind's coming from and will be continuing to come from through tonight. Because if I'm fully exposed to the wind, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, let's go. Windy. North, 9 MPS. Is that miles per second? I think I would be dead. Um, where am I? Just past Carboneras. Mojokar. Mo, okay, okay, so it's coming from the northwest. That's why I was having a headwind. Okay. Uh, looks like tomorrow it's going to be a crosswind. Oh, wait. I need to figure out tonight, because, yeah, it's, it's gusting up to over 60 kilometers an hour tonight. So... But in theory, it should be coming from inland and going to the coast. Um... So if I'm on the coast and I shelter behind some thick bushes, then I could be okay. But the wind can do weird things and channel in weird ways. Because yeah, it says by midnight the wind will be 27 kilometers an hour gusting to 61. Four will be wind at 16 kilometers gusting to 62. So the wind gusts is what we're really going to be. Um, being annoyed by, really. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. When you plan to be done your trip? Uh, Mid-December, I'll be flying back to Canada for Christmas. Sweet. So, before you start, yeah. there was a miss communication with yeah. me in the kitchen so you'll say it's more like a medium oh that's fine where, uh, <laughs> i'll yeah, be okay. totally fine with that yeah i will give you a little discount or free free drink if that's okay oh. it's completely my fault oh okay <laughs> <laughs> medium is totally fine uh, 
Thank you. Oh, do I need cutlery? Oh yeah, getting that. Awesome. I think I will, thank you. All right, oh, we can move stuff. Ah, oh, classic British, we got peas. We got the peas. And a tomato. And some mushrooms. Cool, cool. Let's dig in. You ordered medium rare? That's correct. And she says more like medium. Ooh, it's quite tender. That's nice. Okay. Let's have at her. That's like medium. more British to me. Yeah, it's very British. Fries look scuffed? Why do the fries look scuffed? That's a lot of peas. Yeah. Oh, peas are very hot. Everything else is a managerial bowl, but the peas are like Burning balls of fire. Wow. Feels like anything got any amount and probably still burn it right off. I'm losing weight. I know because I'm looking skinnier in the face. Like, there's my resting face. You can see it in my cheeks. <laughs> Did someone order a lot of peas again? Which one of you said, ordered me a bunch of orders of peas and they checked it on my plate? No sauce? She asked, I'm just, Usually when I get a half-decent steak, I just have salt and pepper on it. Maybe I should have gotten sauce, because sauce is calories, and calories are good. What do they have? Do they have, like, cool des desserts and stuff? Well, they do a Sunday roast. Hmm. Place is very British. I wouldn't mind trying the sauce. Like curiosity. Maybe I'll ask her if it's like pre made. Sticky toffee pudding. Mm. I was looking for burger side dish pie classics. Beer, coffee tea, wines, fizz. So they have Oh desserts. Yeah, okay. It's just ask us about desserts. <laughs> Who doesn't put sauce on steak? Weird not to. What sauce do you put on your steak in, is that Australia there? I'll see you sit down and eat, sleep all tonight. I certainly will, because I sleep so much better with a full stomach. It's going to be blustery tonight, so it'll help having some good food. like opera in the background? Is that Queen?
What song is this? Is it Barcelona? I didn't know. Was, I don't even know the song at all. That's where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, if I actually successfully cycle into Barcelona before I run out of time, I'm just gonna break DMCA rules and I'm just gonna play Barcelona. Fuck it. We're going in. Just immediately ban. Finishes the trip, ban for life. You played Barcelona. You're done. speakers to mount on the bike. Yeah, before I get to Barcelona, I'll just go buy some big speakers, just so we can destroy your hearing. just eat all the grizzle. This fat is super calorie dense. It's more medium than medium rare. They specifically came out and apologized. She said she forgot to communicate that to the chef or something like that, and it was her fault. It's still fine. Medium's fine. I just, you know, I, you know, I like a little more pink in the middle. I don't care. to eat these peas. If the peas are the only thing left, then I'll be sad because then I won't want to eat the peas. Because peas on their own are just not very exciting. Peas with other stuff are fine. As raw uncooked meat is not good for you. Say that to steak tartare fans. Wait, you say steak tartare or beef? You say beef tartare, don't you? better than the open face sandwiches, for lack of a better word, that you had yesterday. It's certainly more satiating. Oh, look at the wind just ripping in there. It's like my elk steak's pretty much rare, or raw. I don't know if I've had an elk steak. I've had deer steaks. My friends in high school's family were big hunters, so one time they had me over for a big deer steak meal. And it was quite good, I liked it. Look, a restaurant here is famous for the blue cheese stuffed pork chops. Ooh. I only learned um, in Portugal that I actually do like blue cheese. I had tried it, I think in 2016, 2017. My partner at the time 
really like blue cheese, and she got me to try some. It was just too much for me. I was I was scared because it's moldy cheese. Um, but I tried it on this trip with an open mind, and I quite like it. It's bold. Strong flavor on that cheese, but I did enjoy it. As I've gotten older, I like the things that I didn't like when I was a kid, I definitely started to like more. And I think it's like some of the stuff that just sounds scary or is like quite strong flavored, I didn't like when I was younger. I think it was more just like, it was like, some of that stuff is like a shock to the senses. Like I didn't like olives. When you tell you like, when you just bite into an olive straight up, it is just like, whoa, <laughs> it's a lot of salt. But you know, now that I'm older, Give me that salt. I love it. It's a flavor explosion in your mouth. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Oh, it's Christmas season. It is almost December. I will say Christmas music makes me feel like I should be home now. <laughs> this whole trip I've been like, I'm coming home for Christmas. When we start playing Christmas music, I'm like, well, it's Christmas season, what? I'm, I'm not home. chunk of Romano cheese? I don't know if I have. Maybe. A lot of times I eat cheese and I don't know what cheese I'm eating. What town do we make it to? Does anyone know the town we're in? I don't remember. We didn't expect to get to Barcelona? I just have to get there because I have a flight home for Christmas to get to. But I don't say what day because Twitch, but mid-December-ish. Um, it being Christmas season also means it's mine and Sarah's like one year anniversary-ish, you know, for like since we started seeing each other. So it's been a while since I've been with someone for like anywhere near that. Are you Garucha? I think I know that bar. I don't say the name. Um, this bar I mentioned food is great there, especially the salmon. Um, what's the name of the town? Is it Gruge? Is it Moakar or is it Garucha? Just before Garuche and Mo Moakar? Moakar? <laughs> you thought about the next adventure? I don't know what it's going to be in it, uh, yet. Um, Sarah, uh, partner, is actually considering switching to a casual position so she actually has the time to join me on a trip. I'd like to try it before we just commit to going on a trip, but. She really likes the idea of doing a tandem cycling trip because I think she just wants me to be in control of the bike. Um, she's like, I'll be at the back, I'll just be a power source. Wondering because the location was wrong? 
on screen or in the title? You're doing all the pedaling? Well, I won't be able to see if she's pedaling or not. But you guys can tell me. I do have power meter pedals. Um, I think it'd be kind of fun, interesting, if uh, I could get actually live tracking of that. And if Sarah also had live tracking of her power output. And then you could see live who is actually producing power. Make fun of use tandem? Potentially. I think a lot of times tandems are kind of hard to sell. So you might be able to find like an okay deal on a good tandem. It's a very niche item. Sarah be okay with a thousand plus viewers staring at her butt? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well, maybe find out. Sarah into the wild camping also? I think she'd be down with it. I've, I've camped with her a few times. She had no problems. She's she's naturally a lot colder than me. So we camped like in the winter. So what I did is I brought my camp stove and I brought a water bottle and I just heated up some water, dumped it in the bottle and I'm like, put this between your legs. Just like in between your thighs like major veins and arteries or whatever run through there and you just put something warm there it just like heats up all the blood flowing through there and you you warm up a lot like the fastest way to warm up. Is she okay with no showers like you are though? <laughs> so if we do a trip together, from the get-go the planned trip will probably be like two weeks. Because she, ha like, she hasn't done a trip like I do and I haven't traveled with her so we don't know how it's gonna work, right? So it's not like we're gonna be committing to cycling across Canada or anything to that extent as a, to start with. Two weeks is nothing? It's a good introduction to an entirely different style of traveling. But like, it's a stupid idea to have someone do something they've never done before and commit to months of doing that thing that they've never done before. Yeah, it's likely like the type of trip we'll do. I don't know. But it's definitely possible, like, the trip could just be, like, if we're both having a grand old time, then you just extend it. <laughs> 